Hello, this is Benjamin John Pope. I am doing another character tutorial, and this time we're going to just make something. And what I want to do is I want to get the line tool this time. I'm going to pull out a nose. I'm going to make it bent. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going right the way back to the line tool to make it somehow marked. So in the line tool, I'm going to convert this one to fill, uh, shape convert lines to fills and I'm actually going to just put it like that I'm going to do the same to this convert lines to fills what I want is more of a pen line so with the nose, we'll, um, let me just go to 50% so I can see the nose. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to mark it like this, but I'm going to just go from eye level, so I'm going to see the eye level is it's going to mark it and say FN F8 marker so I've marked it now but according to me that should probably be the line of the eye the front of his head will have to go up like so this is just going to be called headline headline and with the headline I'm going to modify shape convert lines to fill again I'm going to zoom back into 75 just made a line so now this marking doesn't seem totally right get rid of the marking let's go back to 50% so make this a little bit smaller so we've got like a car like a nice marking Call it lip line. Lip line. Right, there's so many different ways of making the character. This character now. This character has a seriously big grin, like that, but really, I put out a line there. Now all of that, I'm going to say, F8 lip total, whatever I wrote in there. 
and convert lines to fill. Um, Right. In a way, I drew a cartoon previously, but in a way, this might be a hundred percent better marked. So now, I want to do an ear. But if the ear is like that, it sort of looks goblins, doesn't it? Sort of goblin style. And I think the square line would be quite nice. So FN F8 Goblin. Should have quick copy in here, I don't know why I did that. Modify, shape, convert lines to fill. Sometimes when you pull the fill over, it kills itself slightly. Right. Um, I was going to grab all of it, put it down. I'm going straight right for the hair, I think. It's going to pull hair down there. I'm going to pull a line down here. The way the way this is done need to add a layer because we're going to move this now. Let's just make all of this bendy and everything get rid of that line <coughs> I'm not too sure I'm going to keep that one straight let's just make it go a little bit smaller there, I should be right now. We need to mark the top of his head. So let's select all, make it smaller. Um, I'm going to convert lines to fill. Convert lines to fill. Hold on. And we just go to properties, stroke, free. Now we want to modify the shape. <coughs> Straight away, it seems like it 
it seems like they're done already like it seems as if when I um bring the markings into like a biro texture I like that more than any other messing around I'm not too sure if it's like perfect <coughs> but I don't like these ones I don't like <coughs> see I fully get that hairdo um just gonna do bring their three right the way down to here to give him some more hair find hair quite difficult find head quite difficult
Uh, right. Let me just get another line. I have to put it down like that. Just to make his head. Another line. If I put it down to there, it should mark itself now. Symbolise this FNFA. Head. Head line. I'm thinking at the moment and I'm confused slightly but let's carry on with the lines because the lines are basically saying that each line if we follow it downwards or whatever really if we do all of this <coughs> you have to think about what goes over let me think again without the markings Right. Let's try trying to definitely think. <coughs> now I'm just thinking of a perfect circle really <coughs> get the line tool <coughs> the line tool it works best there side of it so you modify shape convert lines to fill it's funny how I brought it over it was funny it's gonna make Really now it just needs detail so bring out a line here Um, 
like the cartoon I drew previously was with shapes <coughs> if you use the line tool um, you somehow get more you get more of a drawing line like it looks more like pen <coughs> so it looks more like pen and now I'm going to use another circle Gonna use another circle, cover that as black, then use another circle because now that's actually a decent cartoon. Cartoon, should I say. and now the cartoon eye right I want to just grab that and say modify shape convert lines to oh no 100% now we'll do it it should do it now still didn't do it I need to just go properties line tool then say modify shape convert lines to fill hold on let's undo that a minute Should I just leave it as a normal line? <coughs> I don't know if I should leave it as a normal line. It doesn't look right with a normal line. Let's give it two hundred percent modify shape. Modify shape. Do it. Expand by two pixels. No, that didn't work either. Oh, let's try taking it to two. See, it doesn't look right. Definitely doesn't look right. Modify shape. There we go. That's what I wanted. funny really because you, you basically just <coughs> see really <coughs> I want a line underneath that like that eye it's not right it's not right Need the line there. Like that. <coughs> so now seventy five per cent. Is that more right in a that a better position? <coughs> Have a look at it. Let's go a bit bigger. <coughs> I'm 
Okay, looks better. Turn it right the way around like that. <coughs> Positioning is like a really, <coughs> really good thing to think about. What we're going to do now is we're going to just go lying down. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. Gonna see F N F A teeth line. We're gonna say modify shape convert lines to fill. We're gonna do that. Gonna go inside of it and just. Pull them down. <coughs> Looks a little bit stupid, so let's undo that. because the teeth line let's work on the air a bit more because the air can be like that like that like that and like that you might think that's a weird shape but really, it's not. Now, I'm going to use that as an advantage. I'm going to use that as an advantage. Use this as an advantage. I'm going to put a little circle like that. Then I'm just going to say color black. Put it in like that. Don't like it. Grab the line to again. Just get one down there. Modify shape. If that lines to fill. Just 
I now want some sort of Um, what I'm doing is adding little pieces of detail um, the nose probably should I have detail on the nose do detail on the eyelid I'm just zooming in if you're enjoying this tutorial it's basically about cartoons and how you can advance them using the line tool do it all just have one line to start with we'll go up we're going to come back to this cartoon because I'm <coughs> slightly happy with it Eyebrow away. I'm now going to give this I'm going to give it an eyelid like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that I'm going to do that I'm going to do that and the eyelid I want to be like that but about there so what I'm going to do is 
and the shrink this <coughs> using the free transform tool <coughs> and the middle of this I want to cut out but what's going to happen is I'm going to lock all layers and not layer one I'm going to cut from there I'm going to bring that side down hold on then I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to chop off the top but bring that down like that <coughs> but what I want to do with this piece select layer 2 and say modify <coughs> shape convert lines to fill Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that actually. I'm going to leave it like that. Say 50%. Say 100%. some sort of shading to happen so what I do first is that's the outline of the cartoon but we're going to carry on building this cartoon let's just see it at 50% we're going to select all it's the hair not a symbol F N F A hair select all the detail of the lip isn't there I'm just I'm just making sure every piece is a symbol before I make it one whole symbol so whole head cartoon one so they're the main outlines um, we're going to keep on working on this but thank you for listening